All right, we're back. Uh, what we're going to do right now is work on the options portion of our survey. We had just created a survey, Stan's demo survey. Uh, we went through the design phase of it, and now we're going to look at options. Okay, options. If you didn't like the title of your survey and you want to give it a more descriptive title, this is the place to do it. Okay. Next is uh, the template. We can go in and if we didn't like the basic white template that we had, uh, perhaps we want to use uh, another one. So maybe uh, let's borrow from the science posse and preview it. Okay, they have a different color scheme and how they have set theirs up. So not necessarily keen on that. Uh, let's go with the brown and gold and see what that does for us. Okay. Brown and gold, that looks pretty good. So we'll go with that uh, with that type of uh, template and go with that. Survey language, lots of languages. We're going to just stick with the English for today. Uh, but I'm willing to try other ones. Uh, the status, design. This is where um, I've seen a lot of uh, folks get hung up that, you know, they've, they've feel that they've launched their survey and yet nobody can get to it. Well, it may not be open, so you would have to uh, set it in the open field or it may have been closed. So seeing that it's open, that's really important. The other part of it is how long the survey is open. So, you, you know, you started this survey and it gives you basically a month to work on the survey and also to close the survey. But you can go in and change that date and, you know, set it f uh, maybe way out in March that you want the results in March. So let's go for March 31st and we can update that date to March 31st. And that way the survey won't prematurely close and people sending you emails saying, what the heck's up with your survey? All right. Single response login required. Um, you know, for depending on what kind of surveys that you're going to have, if you're going to have folks requiring login, then they need to be part of the survey tool. And that may, uh, that sometimes can get difficult. Okay. You can have a single response anonymous access allowed, not updatable. So what happens is they do the survey and then they're not allowed to go complete that particular survey because each survey has a unique identif identifier. And what this will do is this will put something on their computer saying that they have uh, completed this survey. Okay. If you want them to log in multiple times. Um, you know, depending on what kind of information that you're collecting, that may be a, a way to do it. Uh, you can also give anonymous access or login required. Um, manual response entry. This is if you're collecting paper um, responses um, and you can go and just keep adding this information over and over and over. Normally you have, uh, if you're testing it, you're probably sending in for multiple response, anonymous access, or manual response entry. Um, once you get ready to send it out to the wild, uh, it's probably best to go change it to what you really want. Action completion. What happens when they, they do uh, complete your survey? Dis display a message. You can have them see the results immediately. Uh, redirect to another URL, so sending them out to another web page uh, where they can get more information, or just simply just close the browser. You know, um, I think having a nice message at, at the minimum is probably a nice thing to do for them. This is the default message that's in there. Um, you know, you can make it a little more personal, personable. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, you can send them to a URL. Uh, 
here's buttons that you want to display between beneath the message in order to get them to where they want and they can print it they can view reports uh, you know once again depending on what uh, how your survey was sent up email addresses if uh, someone is um, you know if you want the the responses and you keep track of them as they come in you know everybody's sending uh, you can have it sent to your email address um, I have found out that it's uh, this thing collects them fine and just remember to go check it so okay if it requires a log on then there's ways to set this up um, so they can have responses also sent back to the um, individual that taking the survey navigation properties the back button you whether or not you want them to have the ability to go to a previous page okay display or don't display cancel button whether or not they can close the browser uh, whether want you want them to display or not uh, redirect to the end of the survey so you have options there configured hidden fields there's no hidden fields for the survey okay. you can learn more about how to do that collecting information page numbering we, I think we looked at this before so there's options for that number of questions within the survey And this is how you're going to display the question numbers. Either you don't, or you do it within the entire survey, or just on each page. We'll do the entire survey. And then finally, how to uh, do reporting. Um, once again, types of reports, bar graph or uh, pie graphs. You can give other folks in, uh, permission to see the results of the survey. Okay, highlight responses. Maximum r number of responses for the survey. Um, yeah, if this is just an open survey, you may want to cut it off at you know a certain number. Um, you know, so this is a possibility. Uh, ideally, you're, you're really targeting your survey, but you know sometimes you just throw it out to the wild and see who you know. Um, you know, for example, how many think Britney Spears should be taken off television forever? You know, throw that out there and see what people say. Responses per user. For multiple responses surveys, maximum number of responses per user. Okay. Uh, if you don't put a number in there, they can just keep going. Uh, days for update. Uh, if you're allowing them to go update their answer, um, how many days that they have a choice to do that? And then finally, owners and email addresses for uh, the administrator. So they, that can be part of the survey if necessary. And then remember, if you're adding additional users, don't use any spaces and simply uh, semicolons. And put their user or usernames in there. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much about options. Uh, quickly deploy we talked about this real quick you know this is the way to send out your survey uh, electronic surveys so you have different options survey invitations by email send an email link put it in your message and send it to your own distribution list or add these two options to a web page one of them just takes you to the survey another one pops it up into a window uh, bringing up that survey Okay, and that's the only difference for those. And uh, next thing we'll do is talk a little bit about reporting. So that's it for this segment. Thanks for participating.